here we go. Mike should be up and on. Let's take a look at... This should be CGSL Season 1 Showcase 8, I believe. Um, going into the game now, this is the 5.30 Eastern Standard Time match. On blue team, we're going to have Adios in jungle. We're going to have King Azriel in solo. We're going to have uh, Toxicity in mid. SGK Rejections in ADC. And Ymir PK at support. Uh, and then on red team, we're going to have the worst player at jungle. <laughs> we're going to have uh, act jokingly at solo. We are going to have Punisher at mid. We're going to have Kano at ADC. And we're going to have Narkis at support. Um, teams have already been drafted. All the bands are already off. We see uh, Poseidon, Baron... Uh, Kumba, Isis, and on and King Arthur were taken away by Blue Team and Hachi, Geb, Zong, Thor, and Set were taken away for Red Team. And now the lineups are gonna have Susano in jungle. We are gonna have Kukulin solo. We are gonna have Vulcan mid, uh, Apollo ADC, and Ymir support for blue team. And then for red team, we're going to see Fenrir jungle. We're going to see Erlang Shen solo. We're going to see Hades mid. Who's the ADC? Uh, Scotty ADC and then Ardia support. Interesting lineups from both teams. I have to say, I kind of feel like, uh, excuse me, <laughs> I'm so sorry guys, I kind of feel like uh, blue team's going to have a bit of the advantage here, uh, the Susano pull, the knockup from the alt, the knockup from Kukulin's alt, the Ymir freeze, the Ymir slow, the Ymir wall, the Apollo stun, um, the Vulcan knockup even, I guess you can go that far, versus the Scotty displacement, a Fenrir grab and I guess stun. Uh, RDO cripple, RDO slow, RDO root, RDO stun. Um, Hades taunt, Hades pull. Uh, Erlang stun, Erlang knock up, Erlang taunt. So honestly, actually, it, I think from just a pure CC standpoint, red team has a little bit of an advantage right now. Ever so slightly. Yeah, he wasn't uh, too happy about playing um, Ymir support. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see how he feels about that in the long run. Just waiting for the lobby to get started now. Get underway. And if I'm going for a pick to win it all right now, uh, I'm going to go bold and I'm going to guess red team. I feel like uh, that's the more bold choice right now. Let's see what my viewers think real quick. Red team or blue, guys? Let me know in my chat channel so I can actually look at that now without having to pull it up on stream. I love that so much. I think I saw Buzzard and Ruth in here. What do you guys think? I think I saw Polo in here as well. Just off of picks and bands, uh, putting ranked aside, putting player skill aside right now, just going by picks and bands, how each character's playing into each other. Who you got winning? And then the awkward silence as I wait for for people to type out responses. Red team. All right. Uh, like I said, I, I'd have to strongly agree. I think the uh, the cripple, the CC chain. There's just there's a lot more that red team can do. Uh, whether or not they actually execute remains to be seen, but they have a lot more in their kit, I believe.
Uh, Ruth says she thinks blue team, team comp wise, the red team. Um, so I think from a skill standpoint, blue team does have a little bit of the advantage. Um, but from a team comp standpoint, I do completely agree. I think red team has it. Let's see who's going to string it together. I know blue team is rocking three TSB players. That was not done intentionally. Like, literally was not done intentionally at all. Just accidentally happened. So, yeah. It is what it is. If you had a really, really big forge, think you could cover the Titan forge? Oh, that's funny. For people that didn't get that reference, if you heard the Emir, Titan Forge is the creator of Smite. Well, technically Hyrus is the creator of Smite, but uh, Titan Forge is like the parent to Hyrus. So. Yo, that's what's up. Uh, I'm hype, Buzzard. I'm hype. You say you took time away from watching a Raffer. Yeah, I'm I'm honored. I'm honored to have your viewership, my guy. I hope that sounded sincere. Minions have spawned. So both teams appear to be going with a more traditional start. As we see support and dual lane for both teams, although RDO is sitting back a little bit right now. And an awkward silence. That's okay though. Dual lane's just gonna duke it out right now. And Apollo's already kinda low. That is not what I wanna see. Yeah, that is not what you want to see for blue team giving up the first blood in dual lane. I'm going to be completely honest, I was actually reading my chat, that's why I didn't <laughs> commentate that, because I was not looking. We see a gank coming in mid, Fenrir's going to go on, Toxicity. Ooh, can Susano and Vulcan pick up the Hades? I definitely think they can. He should have gone straight in the tower. I know it's kind of predictable. He is going to blink away. Maybe he is going to get away. I know it's a little predictable going straight in the tower there, but I mean, I guess because he has a blink, he gets away. But if he didn't have blink, they were just going to chase you all the way down. They like the only thing that was going to deter them was tower or a strong teammate. And Susano's plucked down. You're kind of SOL in my opinion. Cullen's really getting bullied by Erlang here. He knows how to apply it well. He might get the kill right here. No, Cullen is going to be able to jump away. And we see a fight over by dual lane, which I didn't get in time, but Ymir is going to fall to Kano. And they're going to look to continue the dank as... Gank the dank. As the gank as they push uh, Apollo. And he's going to fall to the worst player. And red team jumped out of a 3-0 lead. It honestly looked a little bit like they were going to be outmatched skill-wise, even though they did win picks and bans. And they're winning the early game of the match so far. Although that isn't saying much. Um, early game, I, I hate to say it like this, but early game realistically doesn't mean anything. Um, you can easily throw away a lead uh, that you got in the early game. So it only, Ooh, Hades picking up a big play there with his autos. Toxicity is going to fall to him. Um, and another, uh, kill, act jokingly, is gonna pick up, uh, uh, Cullen. I didn't get that, unfortunately. Mir's getting poked a little bit. Good freeze from him. Trying to avoid any serious damage. Gets stunned. There's the one from RDA. And dual lane for blue team is super pushed up right now. And this is honestly looking like it could turn into a stomp going the other way. Well, 
my meatballs. And are they seriously just gonna get ganked right here? And act jokingly picking up another kill on uh, Capellan. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to leave this lane here, man. Up, oh, Ardio is gonna get the kill on Ymir. Uh, just as I was a, just as I was about to leave the lane to go check on a different fight. Is anything gonna come of this? They're so low. Is Apollo gonna get greedy? Lazy backing right in front of him. There's so many minions though. He really can't do anything here. So far, looking at builds, we see Vulcan starting Book of Thoth. We see Hades starting Mage's Blessing. We see no nothing too different. Everything else pretty straightforward and standard. And the pace has slowed down a little bit. The uh, early game pressure up. Act jokingly is just literally cleaning up Kukulin over and over and over. The jungler, uh, I don't know what to tell him. And, he, and oh my goodness. I can't even commentate all the deaths that just happened. I'm going to be completely honest. But Red Team is winning 11 to 1 right now. Apollo is on the run getting chased down by Scotty and RDA. Big yikes. Scotty's going to pick up Apollo as well. And a surprising turn of events. Blue team is losing. Like, severely losing. Down by about 3k gold. 11 kills. Uh, you know, I knew red team's comp was better. But I, like I said, I thought the skill advantage was going to get a blue team. But it's just not looking like that. Vulcan's in a bit of a dangerous spot. He might get ganked here by this Fenrir. And oh, we did get a pause. Let's see why we got a pause. Uh, I think we had a DC. One second, guys. He should be trying to join in any second. Oh, I thought they just came out of pause for a second. I was like, uh, I don't know if he's back in yet. That's what I'm waiting to see right now. Oh, well, they're moving, so I'm assuming he is back in. That actually did not take long at all, and Red Team is such a major lead right now. Uh, at this point in the game, approaching six minutes, if they can just hold the momentum they have, they can easily ride us to a victory. They don't need to, dare I say, overextend too much more. Levels and gold are in their favor. Uh, just hold the momentum that you have right now. You don't have to force anything else.
And that's actually usually where you see a lot of teams make mistakes and struggle. Uh, not to put any hate on some of the other teams. <laughs> some intense typing. Ooh, Ymir gets the kill there on Kano. <laughs> I just checked uh, my, my chat. I'm so sorry, Ruth. Uh, I'll be muting my mic when I type from now on. I did not know that it was going to be that loud. Goodness, I cannot wait. Like I said, you guys are always going to be hearing me complaining about it until I'm actually on PC, but... This smite spectator on console is so garbo. I cannot wait. Like, I should have my, uh... Ooh, this Kukulin is getting destroyed by Erlang. And there's Susana. He misses his three, though. And Erlang's just gonna get out like nothing happened. And all that poke and, and nothing. Ugh. Big, big ugh. But yeah, I should have, uh... Uh, my PC dual screen up for streaming, for Smite, Rocket League, uh, and maybe a few other games fairly soon. We're going to see Punisher get the kill there in mid. Ymir's about to fall to Scotty. Ah! He does fall to Scotty. Apollo's going to come down and try to pick it up. There's a shell from Ardia. Can I get... Okay, alright. There we go. And Ardia is going to pick up Apollo. Dual lane's just getting trashed. Um, a lot of pressure on the Susana right now to try to get something going for his team. That's the big knock in my opinion. Um, if he can't alleviate pressure somewhere, uh, mid's doing okay, but uh, Solo's behind, Duo's behind, Jungle's got to do something. I mean, Jungle's kind of behind at this point in the game right now, but... He's got to do something. He's got to help somebody get some breathing room if they want any chance to come back in this game. Uh, about the nine minute mark, here comes Frenrir. Frenrir with the stun. And the three cleans it up, no problem. Susana with the pluck. He's not auto, he's not AA canceling, and that's big because you miss out on a lot of damage when you know AA cancel with Susana. And the kills are just piling up for Red Team. This is unbelievably surprising for the results I was expecting from this match. So I was honestly a little worried that... Uh, and Scotty's going to pick up Apollo right there. We just barely gr uh, grabbed that. I was on, and Red Team's going to look to take gold as well at the 10 minute mark. <laughs> I was honestly worried Blue Team was going to outgun Red Team because of ranks. Uh, but as we can see here, Red Team is just demolishing blue team and blue team has three uh players reigning from the same clan that might not necessarily mean that they're that they have any chemistry but they should be somewhat familiar with each other possibly i agree lucky charms this is very tough to watch like i was just saying like i was really surprised it went the way it did we see susana pick up a kill right there vulcan alt that was uh a little questionable. I don't know what the point of that ult was. Definitely would have held that if I was him. And when there's a fight going on in dual lane. Ymir ult. And is he going to get the auto? Oh, Apollo's going to steal the kill from him. Oh, if I'm Ymir, I'm actually a little salty. Let's see if we can get this battle in mid. Susana is kind of casting abilities there. Wow, and Hades is going to get out. Vulcan needs to land something here. That knockup would have been so huge if he would have landed it. There's the blink from Fenrir. Fenrir is ulting, carrying out. Blue team has an opportunity here. Can they please pick up this Fenrir? Please, there's a big wall from Ymir. Blue team, no! The Hades ult's going to take Ymir. Susano's going to bead. He is going to get out, but just barely. And Vulcan's just playing with his life at this point. They're probably going to end up losing mid tower out of this, and they just have to accept it. Oh, Susano might be able to get a play here. That was a good three. He's got to get the pluck. The one. And get out. Good. Beautiful. And Kukulin just all the way back here. Just over your proxy. And...
Fenrir sitting around this speed camp. I don't know if I can get a good... Oh, he actually took the speed camp, not even sitting around it. <laughs> Yo, Polo! Uh, it's, it's work in progress. Usually I try to have uh, one of the other... Uh, like, uh, Davies, for example, or I've had Upbeat Bo and Godson come in and cast. Usually I try to have some people with a bit more uh, uh, the play-by-play -play knowledge for Smite coming and cast, but uh, when I don't have those people variable, which is, isn't going to be for a lot of showcase games, it's just going to be me in here talk talking, blah, 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 blah. And yeah, uh, I'm... I'm really hoping that blue team can turn it around in game two, because game one is really not gone their way. He said, this is great. I like it. I appreciate it, dude. Uh, I'm you know, struggling to do my best. I definitely, uh, will be honest, don't enjoy casting as much as uh, some people do, but it's fun. You know, getting the interactive community is definitely fun. Apollo coming with an ult on top of the Ymir ult. That was huge. Paul's going to dash out. Are they going to be able to pick up the Ardeo? There's the Ardeo's dash. He has no way to escape if Susano can do enough damage, maybe. He should have charged it. That knockup is going to be so huge. And she's going to be able to pick up the uh, Apollo because he did not charge that knockup. Yeah, maybe the knockup doesn't save him. Maybe. But uh, I think that uh, you know it would have definitely helped. Shut down. Uh, you would have definitely given a better uh, probability for that Apollo to survive. And Fenrir is looking to chase down Susana, but that kill is just not there. Kukulun's actually gotten back in the game a bit, able to kind of fight the Erling. Let's see if he's going to win it. They're just going to box it out right now. And Erling is losing, but he hasn't pulled out the ult yet. There's the three. He missed the knockup. I didn't get to see the Vulcan. I'm so sorry. I just wanted to see solo laners fight. Susie? Are we talking like Susie, like Susano, or is Susie somebody in the game that I'm unaware of the name? Susie. Up, oh, we got maybe something going on in mid. Hades with the blink out. Yeah, the blink on Hades has been an interesting pick. Ooh. He's made it work. Oh, big play. Blue team's turning the fight around in the late game now. Mid to late game, all of a sudden, it's a different story. Scotty's in this back line now. Let's see. She's going to chase the Apollo down. She might get the Apollo. Calder does a lot of damage. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I thought I thought you were re referencing Susana. I was like, I don't think there's a Susie in here. Oh, and it's going to bite blue team in the ass right now. Act jokingly, yo, that man has had a killer game. Uh, big shout out to him. Uh, I know he takes a lot of shit from people, so uh, you know, getting good games like this, especially against your peers, it's got to be a good feeling. Scotty soloing gold, or yeah, Pi uh, primal. And at the same time, they're gonna do pyro. This is big plays for red team. A lot of uh, that high tier energy, I guess you want to say. There's another word I was going to use, but uh, I actually don't know if it would have been appropriate or inappropriate, so I'm not going to say it. Group up and red wins. Uh, the way the game's going so far, yeah, uh, for sure. They could push in all the way to a Phoenix and maybe get a Siege. I don't know if it's... I wouldn't call it just yet. I wouldn't say that they've won just by grouping up and winning the team fight. Like I think they still have to actually win the fight, but... They're getting picks nonstop. Susano able to pick up Hades. Oh, big ult from Ymir. Susano would have held his ult. And then Apollo's going to ult in. They are doing everything to pick up Fenrir. But now Susano looks like he's going to fall to Scotty. Ymir's ult's going to do a lot of damage. Here's the shell from uh, Ardeo. And what a freeze. Or what a wall and freeze from Ymir. Oh, my goodness. And there's a Cullen knockup. Ymir should get out of this, possibly. Uh... And he is. The Erlang thought that was going to be a guaranteed kill. Scotty's going to pick up Kukulin. Wow. Lucky plays from Ymir, dude. Lucky plays from Ymir. And Red Team can kind of do whatever they want at 16 minutes now. 17 minutes, pretty much. Uh, 
I'd clean up these towers. Uh, I'd try to get where precious they can, cleaning up some towers, and go get ready to look at fire. If honestly, they might even be able to sneak fire. Let me see what the warding's been like. Yeah, blue team's only warded six times, and only three players have warded. It's really only the Amir that's warding. There's a good chance they could steal uh, fire without anybody knowing. He said, he said, not with PS4 players. Uh, I mean, so far from my experience playing with, uh, oh my goodness. Uh, oh my goodness. So, what's killing Blue Team right now is I think they're overstaying in a little too many fights and they keep getting picked. Uh, somebody's rotating in from Red Team and Blue Team's just getting caught out of a lot of, a lot of positions. Um, with that being said, though, what I was going to say is that we see Fenrir blinking with the ult. There's the beads from Apollo. Fenrir just biting at the air. He is going to three. He's going to get stunned. Ymir freeze. Ymir two. Scotty's going to pick up Apollo. Apollo's going to pick up Fenrir, I believe. And Ymir's going to ch not chase them out because there's a tower there. They were diving deep. And this might be what comes back to haunt them, but Scotty might end up picking up Susana. He's playing a dangerous game, and, and Ardio is going to pick him up instead. And then Scotty's going to pick up Ardio, or not Ardio. Uh, dude, I just watched die. I feel so bad. Is it Erlang that I just watched die? Vulcan! Vulcan getting a big kill. They needed that. That Scotty has been huge. Uh, what, 11 and 4, I think is what she is? Let me go back to player damage. I agree 100% Buzzard, that is, that if blue team, like right here, what is Vulcan doing? Like if I'm, if I'm blue team, just chill, just go back to tower line, just chill, get everybody up, get everybody on the same spawn timers like right now, and then look to group and fight. Uh, I feel like that's where they've been losing a lot of this, even though for some reason they're supposed to be higher ranked and a little bit better off here. Um, I don't think the draft went their way as far as picks and bans. And they're not grouping. They're like, they're getting picked in some awkward ass situations where people are sticking their noses over objectives or positions. I don't know why they even think they matter. The rankings, like, uh, the rank, like their, their conquest rank or like ranking is like a league ranking. Cause we don't have a league ranking currently. I do have a list of everybody's supposed rank we haven't cross-referenced everything yet which is uh what we're going to be in the process of over the next coming weeks we've had so many new players coming in that it's it's a little hard to, to it's less efficient i wouldn't say a little hard it's just less efficient to uh continually update it uh well, we're just going to do it at one main time and go through kind of look over everybody's accounts and red team is going to get fire completely uncontested maybe amir tries to do something here but he's going to come in really late So for blue team, um, Susano's coming in at Adios is flat. TSB Toxicity is coming in at Diamond Two, I believe. Diamond Three. King Azriel's coming in at Silver. Ymir's coming in in the Diamond range, and Red Team just destroying right now. Um, and the Apollo uh, is coming in at I believe Gold. And then for red team, we're going to have Punisher, who is coming in around Silver to Bronze, I believe. Uh, the worst player coming in around Silver to Bronze. Kano coming in at Diamond. Uh, Narcus, Nar Narciss, Narciss coming in at Gold 5. And Act Jokingly also coming in at Bronze. So we'll see how accurate these are. I believe with some of these players, uh, this was like their first go around getting in ranked. Because uh, I know I did have a, quite a handful of players that came in that were like, e like, they wanted to join, but they never played ranked. And I do require everybody to be ranked on a main account that I can reference on Smite Guru that isn't hidden. And Red Team's going to take gold here. Is this Oni? Or is that gold? I think it was just gold. 
Who knows? But um, yeah, I think blue team had had the stat advantage for sure, in my opinion, or the rank advantage for sure, in my opinion. They had a diamond and a plat versus the other team carrying diamond and gold. Um, not everybody. I'd have to go in and actually look at every single conversation I've had, which I've had a lot, because I also run a Rocket League uh, community as well, a Rocket League League as well, so I have a ton of prospects, a ton of ranks coming by, so I don't have everybody's stuff right off the top of my head that I can pull up. But if I were to go through everything, um, there is a decent percentage, probably like a tenth, maybe a eighth of the league that are like more newer players towards Smite, or like in the I don't want to say newer per se but newer to the competitive side of Smite. You do have to be careful though because like it is a huge mix. So you can get a you can get a little uh, overconfident seeing you know, some silvers and some bronze play and then in one of the other showcases tune in and there's G uh, GMs playing. So uh, the spectrum of the league skills all over the place. Um, we do welcome everybody. One of the big goals is a community where people can learn and still compete. Uh, that's why rosters are so deep. That's why we have a set schedule, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, you can find out a lot of that if you go into the CGSL Discord. Uh, I can post a link for anybody that's not already in the community. Um, you can go into that Discord. In the rules section, there's a link to our uh, league outline and our whole clean coin system, which we use for balancing. Uh, so you can give that a check out. And red team should be about to close the game out. Yeah, this right here should be the end of the game. Let me actually pull up my Discord and see what everybody's chatting about. Bruce can probably hear by typing. Just finished. Yeah, I'm uh I'm like semi hip to builds, but I'm not like up to up to did I just get frozen? Okay, thank god. I'm not like up to up to date on builds, so that's why you don't really hear me speaking too much on uh, what people are building. Just uh, you definitely see some wacky building in here. Um, and like, I guess it's kind of the place to do that as well, because it's not like if you lose the game, it's not going to, it's not going to lower your rank or anything like that. So, uh, you can definitely experiment, but there's some times where I do just wonder what players are doing. I know Kitty's got a wild build like that. Uh, what is it? She builds like rune forge and, and something else. I think she builds like two or three of the hammers on, uh, Cernanos. Which is just a little weird in my opinion. I don't know. Maybe I'm out of the meta. Alright, let's see if the second match is ready to go. I have so much on my screen. All right, I'm ready, just waiting on them.
Blue should ban the Ymir or Redna. He's not a threat to see if Ymir can play anything besides Ymir. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. I mean, but isn't that kind of a waste of a ban? I don't know. Like, I guess strategically it's kind of the play, uh, you know, because it's his god pool, but I almost feel like uh, it's, it's kind of a waste of a, a waste of a ban. There's so many strong gods right now. All right, should he be bringing me into the match any second? I'm frozen on the screen, but I'm in. There we go. All right, game two. Um, blue and red teams switch sides, but that's all that happened. I don't believe anybody's changing positions to my knowledge. You can probably hear my typing right now. If you can't blame Polly, he was he was messaging me. I know he was in my uh, stream chat. Uh, answering questions. Uh, I'm gonna have to get like a soft keyboard, like a Kevlar keyboard, so nobody can hear. He said, how do I play this shit? <laughs> Who are the captains for the teams? Oh, wow. I missed a little bit here. I, you, one second. Let me catch up with everything I missed. He's not you, me, or completely. Well, I mean, kind of. Strong. And then. So the, the captains for our teams currently right now are MX Double. Uh, he's going to be representing, as a cap, he's not an ind blah, 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 so much to say. Um, to get to the basic point, so we do have three franchises in the league, which are like uh, extensions of Cleedy G. Uh, our franchises are almost like brands. They bring a team to each of our leagues. So the majority of teams you see are going to be independent teams, meaning that the captain came to us and wanted to form a team. But uh, then you're going to have uh, franchise teams, so to speak, which are teams that are owned and run by one specific group, which would be the Lords, uh, Danger Knots, and Davies Delinquents. Uh, the Lords being owned by Chip the Pleb, Danger Knots being owned by Sky DK, and Davies Delinquents being owned by Davies. Um, the captains for those three teams, the Lords is going to be MX Double. Um... Uh, Danger Knots is going to be Ruth from HR, and Davies Delinquents is going to be Monkey God. Outside of those three, I do have uh, GS Chaotic, uh, who's going to be representing as an independent captain. I do have Sins, who's going to be representing as an independent captain. And I have Upbeat Bo, who's going to be representing as an independent captain as well. And over to picks and bands. Uh, I just got to turn around on my chair. Ooh, the worst player 69 pick set. That is, uh, that's a strong pick in my opinion. Toxicity picking Persephone is also strong. Uh, the Zong picks interesting. Anubis, that's a cringer right there. I don't know about that one. Uh, and then blue team band Kumba, King Arthur, and Isis. That's a uh, pretty standard. Honestly, you could uh, maybe ban the Amir instead of the Kumba, uh, just to see. But uh, that's just still pretty pretty standard. And then from red team, we're gonna see Scotty, Thor, and <laughs> I see Scotty or see Scotty, Thor, and Geb. Uh, you know they wanted nothing to do with Kano Scotty a second time around, so that's now off the board. Um, yeah, we'll see how these bands go. I like the tier pick. Uh, just kidding. I don't know how I feel about that tier pick now. Uh, there is the chance that Ymir and King Azriel did swap uh, support and solo. They are both support solos. So there is definitely a decent possibility that uh, 
they swap and you get a Ymir playing into a tier and I kind of like the Ymir a little bit more as long as he times his abilities correctly and baits out the tier correctly. Uh, if not, then I think Tim... Eh, I, I don't know. I just feel like... We'll see. I'm just going to say we'll see. I'm not going to downplay any character, but I think it takes a little bit more skill to play Ymir at a higher level than it does... Or to play tier. God dang these names! Ah! It takes a little bit more skill to play tier at a higher level than it does to play Ymir at a higher level. Holy shit. Tier Ymir. Ymir the tier. Susano off the board for blue team. And Ardio and Medusa off the board for red team. I think I would have gotten rid of the Uler instead of the Medusa. And blue team's gonna get rid of Hachi. I feel like, uh, or even Honor, maybe. I feel like Honor and Uller are, ooh, the, he's gonna lock in the Neath for red team. I feel like Honor and Uller are definitely bigger picks right now in ADC. Uh, so, you know, getting rid of Medusa, I guess that's like a general fan pick. Oleron, oh, that's gonna, he's gonna frag. If he can actually play Oleron, he is gonna frag. And to my knowledge, they haven't... To I don't know if it's like on purpose or not, but to my knowledge, they haven't patched his autos. So he has the longest autos in the game. And Narciss is going to lock in Baron? Okay. Three mages, an assassin, and a warrior. That is a very interesting cop. The red draft, uh, Persephone, Zong, Ymir, Neath... I don't know, I feel like the Neath is such a, like, meh pick. And Adoxus on Erlang, are they going to give... Or Adios on, on Unbats instead. This is going to turn out rather interesting. I think... Oof. You, you, do you really think that it's intentional that they gave him the longest autos? Like, I don't. I just feel like, I mean, if that's intentional, then like High Res has got some shitty balancing. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, I don't like the Neath pick as well. A Reese? Did I just see somebody say restart? Uh, yeah, to my knowledge, he has the longest autos in the game. Okay. Well, I'm going to back out of this if I can. Yes, I can. They had to restart uh, because somebody lagged out and wasn't able to switch. Let me uh, let me just clean up. Ooh, ooh, no, don't go there. Let me I'm <sighs> just waiting for Smite to come back up. You know, any of the captains that are watching, I'm sure you're going to have your own uh, response to this. But I cannot wait for the teams to actually get drafted. So I don't have to worry about organizing these games anymore. And it can be all y'all's job.
Oh no, I, I mean, yeah, I get that, uh, oh, we're still on the auto thing. I get that Rama had the longest before, right? But I just feel like Oleron brings a lot more to a team fight than, than fucking Rama did. So you're gonna let this man get fucking passive crit, be a mage, have a massive fucking, have a heal, have AoE. Like, I don't know, there's just so much there, I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. Okay, didn't get a spectator there. Is his lobby not up? Oh, it looks like we had somebody leave. It looks like the Emir dipped out. Let's see if I can find a quick replacement support. Oh, it looks like Polo might actually get in there. I hope to God it's, uh, it's actually pronounced Polo, because if it's not... And I'm like, oh, for fucking 10 on pronouncing people's names. He said this is epic. Polo is Spanish for chicken. El Pollo el Loco? El Pollo Loco? Uh, I can't even see it. That would make sense now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I just, uh... I don't know. Get into this game. So why is it dark? Like, what is going on? Well, let's try restarting. <laughs> he said, Oh, he said, like El Polo Loco. El po El Polo. I'll support, give me a password. Uh, Mish, Little Ishmael, are you in the, uh, Discord? Oh, Nura, okay. Easy peasy. He said, I don't know. I love you for that. He said, I don't know if I'm allowed. Uh, 
Let me see if I can just get it into spectating queue. Alright, I'm in spectating queue. Okay. Oh, they just got somebody else right as I turn around. Yeah, I haven't, uh, because I was preparing for the stream, I haven't had the chance to actually update everybody into, uh, uh, the Prospect channel just yet, so that is unfortunately why you probably can't see anything just yet, but after this, I, ooh, this is actually cutting kind of close, I have a stream at 7.30, Uh, let me just make sure they're ready. He wait, did the Ymir really go Ymir with Hunter's blessing? I did not notice that. That's a, that's a big L. Just waiting now. Authorize with Twitter. Authorize. Connected. Save. Hey guys, so uh, I should have a Twitter link, maybe, possibly, I don't know. Twitter timeline should be somewhere on my Twitch now, I literally just clicked on something, so... Just waiting on, let's see who we're waiting on. Here we Oh, so you actually know how to play. I shouldn't say that, actually. <laughs> so you're actually uh, up to date with the meta. I didn't say you actually... It was going to be like, you actually know how to play support. But uh, So what you're saying is you're actually hip to the meta now. Um, so in my experience, what I've seen so far, now this is definitely going to change, uh, as we add in probably roughly 20 to 30 more players, uh, you know, that what people typically do is going to change, but it's honestly been a little bit of 50, 50, uh, we've seen a lot of supports, um, we've seen a lot of supports go and roam and play like the proper meta is right now. And we've definitely seen a, a good percentage of them just stick to lane, which, uh, in my opinion, is a little bit of a product of the league right now because there's just not that many support mains. So you're getting players that don't know the role and kind of just stick to what they know, I guess, or what they've known or what they've seen. I don't know how to properly word that. Well, that is dope. I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping to get a competitive level in the league, to where it's it's worthwhile playing. Like you feel like you're gonna get better. Now you see, you say the meta is easy to follow, but realistically, now hear me out. Now, 
your casual gamer, which is what one of the things that we were trying to appeal to here. Uh, not just your competitive gamers, but your casual gamers. Your casual gamers don't necessarily watch patch notes or watch a lot of the top tier pro play scene. They just play the game. Uh, so meta isn't as easy for those players to pick up as someone like you or someone like me that actively... Uh, it's rude awakening for casual players. <laughs> yeah, that is extremely true. <sighs> As we sit here uh, about six minutes in now, uh, just waiting and waiting. But yeah, as I was saying, this is definitely uh, one of the big things we're looking at is is the blend of casual to competitive. Hopefully balancing the draft, the free agency period, uh, this, that, and the third. Uh, you guys can definitely go into the rules and check it all out uh, under the CGSL uh, season outline and the Cleedy Coin V2. Uh, that'll cover everything from basic policies to the balancing um, mechanics that we have in place with Cleedy Coins, etc., etc. I think they're about to start, finally. Finally. He says, so what rank is everyone on the draft? Excuse me. We should hopefully be getting close to uh, this match starting. Sorry, I... And still not started, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Starting. Narcissus, I am so sorry. I see you typing and typing, and I have just not been able to understand whatever you're saying, ma'am. Oh, looks like we're starting. So, Ymir's no longer in the game, and now Polo, Pol, Pol, Polo, 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 Loco, Polo, Pol, Pol, blah, 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 blah. My man, uh, Chicken over there is, uh, is the, uh, new support. Chicken and rice. Wait, is that really what his name is? 
Is his name really Chicken and Rice? Okay, that's pretty dope. I dig it. <laughs> he said, oh, okay. Up. Oh, no. Screen, don't go dark at me. He said, oh, okay, no problem. Just waiting right now. Yo, big shout out to Lil Ishmael, Lucky Charms, Rocket. I just looked up at my activity feed. Thank you guys for the follows. Um, if you like the content... If you like everything we're putting together here at Cleedy G from Rocket League to Smite, uh, with the hopeful introduction of you know 2K, Modern Warfare, etc. down the stretch, go ahead and give us a subscription. It definitely helps in the long run. I don't have custom emotes set up currently, but I am working on it. And going on to these teams now. I'm, I'm, uh, it's just bugged. Okay. Is it just really bugged? Is that what I'm looking at? Let me go check the Discord. Oh my goodness. Okay. So nothing's popping up in the Discord. I'll, I'm going to point out if you guys look at that Scotty in the top left. She has no picture. There's nothing there. But it says Scotty. So. Hmm. And it's actually crazy, too. Uh, red team band set Thor and Ardio, but they let Scotty through. And in my opinion, Scotty did all the damage. So, yikes. Big yikes, to say the least. Yo, shout out to you, Critical, for that follow. Thank you so much. Uh, Polo's playing support. They lucked out. Yo, what is up, Critical? So, rosters still aren't done yet. I was just going to overview everything after rosters are done. Uh, that way I can get a little bit of work done. Who's talking? Uh, it's who is a Willix? There you go. Let's copy that. I should have titled this this game too. I don't know why I didn't. Alrighty, here we go. So, blue team did miss a band there, having some weird lag. As you can see, Punisher is on Scotty. And, uh. Um, are they gonna trade? They are gonna trade. I was like, uh. Are they really that glitched out? And now they have their art for Scotty. That was really weird. Okay, so for blue team. 
Um, from Jungle, you're going to see the worst player on Thanatos for their solo. You're going to see Act Jokingly on Zong. Their mid is going to be Punisher on Anubis. Their ADC is going to be Kano on Scotty. And last but not least for them, it's going to be Nar Narciss on Fafner support. Um, and then over to Red Team, we're going to have Adios TSB on Daji and Jungle. We're going to see, is it, I believe, King Azrael as Odin in solo lane. We're going to see Toxicity TSB as Isis in mid. We're going to see SGK Rejections on the Neath in ADC. And last but not least for Red Team is Polo, po 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 Polo who's replacing... The Ymir PK from last game who played Ymir. Um, he's going to be replaced now by Polo, who's playing Kuma Karna support. Let's see how this game goes. Uh, just looking at face value. <laughs> I need to get in some games to get my stock up. Yeah, we're, you're still in the early stages, so you're really lucky. We just recently uh, actually started the Showcase reboot for Smite. Um, we've... The past year, we spent mostly focused towards Rocket League. We're about to go into our fourth season, uh, well, our season three playoffs, preparing for the fourth season for Rocket League. Um, so we are branching out towards Smite now, among a, other few, a few other games. Um, and you're like perfectly in time. Um, you haven't come in too late to where everybody's kind of got their idea of who they want. You're early enough to where you know you'll definitely be able to make a lasting impression. Um, and just looking at these two teams right now, uh, I think it was blue team that won last game and red team that lost last game. They did get a new support this time around. Uh, just face value though. I'm going to go ahead and give it to blue team. I think the solo laner was a bit stronger. Uh, what is it? Act joking. I think he played way better into King Azrael last game so i'm gonna hope that he plays just as well maybe he doesn't but i'm gonna hope that he plays just as well and the fact that they let kano back on the scotty that blows my mind like that actually just blows my mind like that man was destroying on scotty and you guys just give it right back to him so i think those two picks alone give a lot of hope to red team or uh, to blue team um I'm a little iffy on the Thanatos pick. Thanatos and Adagi, uh, her ult is kind of a pretty strong counter to your ult, in my opinion, as long as you you know, you know time it well, you're, you have good map awareness, etc., etc. And then red team getting Isis, uh, that's also a big buff. You know, I think she's definitely going to punish your Anubis. She's probably the top mid laner right now. Uh, so... Daji and Isis, I think, are going to be the two big players for Red Team, and then Scotty and Zong for Blue Team. Uh, the Dark Horse slash Underdog, it's it's got to be the Kumbakarna with Polo coming in, and in my opinion, it's got to be the Anubis. Uh, I don't really think the Anubis is going to do anything. I think the Kumbakarna has a better chance of having an effect on the game. But, I mean... You know, maybe Anubis gets lucky and people just don't respect the damage or he lands every rap. You know, you never know. You never know. You know, you just never know. All right, so let's see if I can get everything pulled up now. People are finally loading into the game. All right, everybody is in. Let's see if I can get items pulled up now. Warrior's Blessing on Odin. Warrior's Blessing on Zong. Um, Assassin's on... Yeah, everything's pretty straightforward. Mage's Blessing on Neath. Versus Hunter's Blessing on Scotty. And Anubis just starts... Uh, tier one band cross. I don't even know to be honest. I know it's a lifesteal item. Uh, maybe like Pythagorean's piece. I think it's tier one band cross. I 
literally I don't think I've ever bought tier one Baron Cross. So I don't know what it looks like. Anyone in the chat knows what Anubis's first item is right there? Let me know. Pretty sure it is tier one Baron Cross. Uh, if I'm right or wrong, you know, appreciate it. Minions have spawned. Everybody's like squinting at their screen. Tiny trinket. Okay. And Dueling trying to apply the pressure right off the bat. They're liking this matchup. Goomba's taking some damage here. Ooh. If only Neath would have hit the Scotty as well, she would have gotten Calder just bugged out. That stun bugged Calder out. Up, oh, he's alive again. Or maybe he was in ghost form. I don't know. Yeah, blue team is just going at it there right now. This is such an awkward angle to look at. Ooh, Neath has a big chance here. Good shell from uh, Fafnir. Better safe than sorry. This is big, yikes. Ooh, they might get Kumba for that, though. They can definitely pressure it here. Yeah, big props to Neath landing her one everywhere. And we missed the first blood in mid, unfortunately. I think it was Thanatos that picked up Isis. And he's going to rotate over this red. Dodgy should be watching. He's bringing minions with him. That's a big no-no. And Anubis is low on health and mana. If I'm Dodgy, that's a, I'm looking at that kill. He gets the wrap, though. There's the beads. Uh, I guess it saves you. I don't even think the beads was necessarily necessary. I didn't want to say that. Like as I was saying that, I was gonna ooh, and I come over just in time to see Scotty get the kill. As I was saying that though, I was like, yeah, I don't want to say necessarily necessary. Doesn't sound uh, doesn't sound too proper. Oh, it was necessarily necessary. So, this almost cleanly is going to get into a uh, song, I want to say. No diss to Odin right now, but I just don't think the matchup plays in your favor. Look at that. Now, can red team respond over here in dual lane? They're going to try to apply some pressure on blue team. This Fafner is landing stun after stun. Eth follows up with the one off of Kumba's two. Forgot which Kumba ability was which. So, also something interesting here is you see both uh, Kumba and Fafner chilling with their dual laners. Uh, I think that actually helps red team in the long run because while the meta might be for the supports to rotate, uh, I feel like I just said dual laners with the dual laners. Anyway. What I, what I meant to say was support hanging with their ADCs in dual lane. Um, even though that is what the meta is, I think if the supports would separate, it would favor blue team too much uh, with how well the Scotty's been playing. And that Neath would probably get pieced up a little bit. But this Neath has been playing really well as well. It's just landing the one. That's really all you gotta land. That's a dangerous lazy back right there. Dodgy's gonna get no problem. Uh, and goodbye Anubis. Yes, goodbye Anubis. This is gonna be goodbye Thanatos as well. There's... Ooh. Ooh, it might be. Fafner's shell might come in handy or not. And this could be Fafner as well. Red team has a big opportunity here. That I, uh, there we go. Good stun by him. It might not be enough though. I think she has her two and her three maybe. Nope. No way, you're gonna attempt that. And you die, B. Oh, ha ha. I'm so glad I got that. Big plays, Fafner. Oh, that is uh, that is rough, Dodgy. Who's who's on the Dodgy this time around? It's uh, 
uh, adios. Yo, I feel you 100% adios if you go back and watch this. Like, I am all about that dive, but that was not the play. Like, I, I, I get the, the I get what was going through your head, man, but you got to think that he has that stun and he's a tank, so, like, he, you just can't, like, blink in, touch him, and then blink out. Like, it's just not going to happen that easily. Um... But, you know, I, I love the effort. I love the effort. Ooh. Oh, the Odin cage. So clutch. So, but the Odin didn't get an auto. And Zong's going to die to tower instead of an actual player. Big rip. I want to say Thanatos is kind of in a dangerous area right now. I want to go over to the fight and duel lane, but... I'm really tempted to go look at a uh, solo lane. This Thanatos really just got to go chill in this jungle over here. He went and did blue to their backs, not a problem by himself. Toxicity is gonna kill Anubis. Not really that surprised right there. There's Daji alt pulling the Thani. There's the uh, Isis alt. I almost called her Izanami. Big yikes. And but we're at the six minute mark, about a 1k gold lead, roughly for blue team. Game tied, 3-3 three, three kills. Yeah, Thanatos might have just killed himself rotating over, and he does. Alright, and we see Fafner's ult right here. I don't know, man. If he's just trying to get out or if he was looking at a fight. I don't know. I guess it definitely got him out. I'll give him that. It definitely got him out. But I don't know about anything else. Ooh, that Anubis ult was big, but not big enough. And now it's kind of wasted, in my opinion. You didn't get the kill. Ooh, Scott, you better hurt that Neath. There's no way she's going to get this. And she does. And these teams are pretty much neck and neck right now. Just about still a 1k lead for blue team. Game tied though. 5 to 5 kills. But about 8 minutes now. Maybe get ready to start preparing for gold. I don't think it's the time just yet. There's a dodgy ult. She doesn't get anybody. I don't think it's that time just yet. I think 9 minutes or later is the sweet spot for gold. Between like 9 to 12 minutes is like that early steal potential. Um, but they can definitely get ready. I think that could be a big difference maker in this game. I was honestly expecting Zong to dominate Odin a bit more with the, all the damage he was flying early on. Uh, but it does not appear to be that way. And I miss Neath killing Scotty. Woohoo. I missed one more kill looking away. I am so sorry. I had to fucking check my PC. I'm sure somebody knows the struggle. Somebody out there. So it's definitely slowing down a little bit here at the 9 minute mark. Blue team's starting to fall a little behind as far as kills go, go but they still have a... Uh, actually their lead's definitely diminished too. They're not cleanly at a thousand anymore. A thousand, K, or a thousand gold lead they do not cleanly have anymore. We see Scotty's going to pressure the Neath right here. She's going to go for the kill and I'm going to switch away but that's okay because now we're back. 
and she ults and is unable to pick up Neath, and that is a huge waste of a Scotty ult. And I and, and you know I come here, and then you know, there's a fight in mid. Uh, of course, that makes perfect sense. I have to stop looking at what's happening and start looking at uh, the map again. Can I go to Scotty, please? There we go, right there. Lots of there. Figure it out. <laughs> Yeah, we'll we'll get that figured out eventually. Oof. Danny old incoming. Who's he gonna pick? He picks people I can't see. Uh, he picks the Kumba. I guess that worked out. He gets the Kumba. Dodge is going after somebody I can hear. There's the ult. Uh, does Isis have ult right now? That could be really big. No, Isis doesn't. This is going to be an Isis death, but I can't see it. Be oh, Dodge picks up... What? What? Danatos died? Kadaji? Oh, what an ult from Isis, too. It kept her alive. Just barely kept her alive. Daji's low, but not low enough to die here, and I think that was his shell as well. Fafner's gonna fall, his shell's used up. Big yikes. And I, I will say this so far, Narcus, Narcissus, uh, now he's only played two games, so take this with a grain of salt. But everything I've seen so far, he is the best, he's played the best support game all around that we've seen. He lands abilities, uh, he knows his positioning for the most part, uh, although we'll see how he plays into the newer meta where he's rotating around, Scotty's going to pick up, Scotty's going to get it, no she's not, yes she is, and there's a Neath ult for no reason at all, I guess maybe to help set up for the Kumba. so, uh, oh, that was poor Scotty, she's getting body blocked, she's getting CC by everything, and this is going to be it right here, she's dead, yeah she is, Ice is going to clean her up, she almost killed the Kumba though. He said, wait, what, what was a lie? He said, that's a lie. What's a lie? Oof. This Danny's in, uh, having a questionable game at this point. Oh, upbeats. <laughs> you don't count. You're a captain. So uh, captains don't count. Only uh, only prospects count because you know they're the ones to get drafted and put on teams. And Narcissus has played a really mean support game so far. What a rap! Unfortunate. Ooh, dodgy pick. So much stuff is happening. I can't even speak. Ugh. Red team has definitely turned this game around. Um, having Polo, Poyo, Loco on the team, uh, chicken and rice. That man, uh, he's definitely helped out for them. But it's it's a little bit of a combination of blue team making mistakes uh, as well as red team uh, playing better because blue teams made some very questionable decisions. He said, "Captain A, high upbeat, yeah, critical. So your captains are going to be MX double upbeat bow, uh, Ruth from HR, uh, Sins GS chaotic, and I'm missing one more." Oof. I know I'm missing one. Uh, Monkey God? I think that's everybody. I think I listed off everybody right there. You can check them out in the Discord. Their name should be Yellow, although it wouldn't surprise me if they're not. And give me this fight over here. Oh, goodbye, Zong. What sustain, first off? But it's just not enough. And both teams are starting to kind of swing at each other now. Well, I actually hope this ends sort of soon. I'm supposed to have a stream in 15 minutes, so IDS is going to pick up uh, Anubis right there. This is big yikes for blue team. They're definitely fighting their way back into it, but I feel like they are uh, shooting. It's like two steps forward and one step back, kind of. Ooh, 
are you actually going to come down? He is going to come down. I think that's his death. There's a good shell from Fafner. And a good stun. Someone has to step away for a sec. So that tells me that there's a pause incoming in the next maybe 20 seconds. So say by 15.30, expect it to pause. That's probably where I'm aiming to see this guy. Just based off of what they said. Seventeen, fifteen, twenty. You can see Odin right there. Yeah, he's taking on it. Yeah, I guess. I guess they're a lot farther ahead. Yeah, they should be three minutes ahead, actually. So maybe at eighteen minutes, there's a pause. Narcissus in the chat says his team is not listening. And like, that's also a product of showcase games. No, uh, no fault of his own. Um, you're going to be in a lot of situations where you're with new players, new pieces, people you've never met. Dashi's going to pick up uh, Thanatos over by the back tower line of the... I don't even know what I was going to say there. Tier 2 tower? Um... But yeah, you'll see uh, you'll see players struggle uh, or like attitudes or personalities collide in showcase games. Uh, people don't know each other's play styles, uh, skill discrepancies, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, that definitely gets cleaned up a bit more. And once team, once players are on teams, once you know your teammates, you know how people play, you know what can they expect, and hopefully you're more susceptible to communicate. So I, I fully get your uh, your struggle there, Narcissus. Uh, a lot of prospects have to go through it. And Odin Cage has been such a big factor in this game. It's been ridiculous, to be honest. Here comes Scotty. She gets one, but that knee thought might stop her from getting two, and it does. That happened so fast. That happened so fast. So Scotty killed. Scotty killed Fafner. No, 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 no. Scotty killed. Oof. Let me see if I can break that out. Scotty killed Daji. Or Scotty killed Kumba, Daji killed Scotty, Thanatos killed Daji, like that, I think. And here's that pause at 17.30, not at the 18 second mark like I predicted, but at 17.30 nonetheless. I wonder how long this pause is gonna be. Let's let's see. He said at seven ten, which was eight minutes ago. There's no way this pause went on for eight minutes. And I'm supposed to stream a Rocket League match, one of the ending uh, matches for. Week 7 uh, of the CGRL, uh, I think it's going to be Ice versus the Lords. It's Audacity's redemption game after being traded away from the Lords. Um, so you can tune in for that at what's supposed to be 7.30, but it's possibly going to be 7.45, depending on how long this match goes on. And, you know, we're just sitting here chilling, you know, what's up, guys? Uh, anybody in the chat want to have a conversation while we wait on these guys to, you know, start the game? How? <laughs> mm. 
knowing my luck, this is gonna be the lone showcase that ends up running for like an hour. Oof. Oh, are you serious? This, this was nine minutes ago? And they're still waiting? No way. No actual way. This man stepped away that long. Um, Critical, I should have another match... Around 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. I'm not 100% sure on that. I do have two to three uh, uh, like actual league matches I have to handle for Rocket League. Uh, but once those are done, I'll be back over and good to go to stream the rest of the showcases for tonight. I really would like to not be up to two in the morning, so probably only one. But... um. Yeah, maybe two, depending on how fast it goes. Any limit on how long pauses can be? There should be. And now we just wait. Drink a bang? Like, you're talking about the energy drink? Why would I drink a bang? Oh, to stay up. Duh. Ha ha. So see how much I was following that conversation. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of bang. I think they're way too sweet. Uh, I'd be all about that. Uh, you ever had a NOS? I don't know if you ever had a NOS. I went to Texas. They ain't got NOSs out in Texas, so at least where I was. But besides the point, I'd be drinking NOS way more than I would be drinking Bang. Bang just tastes bleh. He said nope. Wow. This is... Yeah, this is like cutting edge, like quality, you know. Holy shit, you guys see the plays going on screen right now? Up, oh, looks at their unpausing. That means I only have to wait for three more minutes of a pause screen before I get gameplay again. Will be a pause timer going forward. You know, I really didn't think this was going to be a problem in the long run. What I thought the problem was going to be is that people pause like four, five, six, seven times. So I'm like, uh, so I'm like, uh, you know, let's make sure we limit it to three pauses. That's the most a team gets. I think we actually have it set at two. And then I look over here and, you know, we have a fucking 15 minute pause. That's, that's literally... Yeah, I wouldn't say 15 minutes. Actually, yeah, I would say 15 minutes. Holy fuck. Uh, 
And again, guys, like I was saying, uh, I gotta sit here. I want to talk about the Anubis PD. Critical, I feel it so much on how long of a pause it is. And the Anubis PD. Uh, PD being... I don't know what PD means, I'm going to be honest with you. Player damage. Oh. I'm like sitting here like in my mind, I'm like path development or path or I don't know. Uh, new, ooh, ooh, Anubis just under 5k player damage worse on the team and it's Anubis. But that's kind of like what I was saying at the beginning. Um... Unless, like, people just for whatever reason didn't respect the damage that Anubis can do. I didn't think he was going to have a good game to begin with. And just looking at his build as well. Uh, uh, it's a little sketchy. I don't know if I would have gone Bancross and Tear and Finishing Boots as my first two items. But, like I said, I don't know anything. What do I know? And I still sit here and wait. So I'm pretty sure they're unpaused now. I'm just waiting on... Uh, what do you call it? I'm just waiting on the stream or the spectate mode to catch up to them. Up oh, and... Oh, no. And, and there's a pause. Game pause by Polo. Oh, ha, 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 ha. So again, I just think that uh, maybe I'm just behind because they should be unpaused. That's what the word is in the Discord is, is they're unpaused. So I guess I'm just really far behind. But that again, we were sitting there for a while. Game unpauses in two, one, and we're back. Woo! -hoo! Yeah, no. Um, so that ate up like literally all of my time too. I'm supposed to be streaming a different game in three minutes. So big yikes. Let's fingers crossed. Hope this gets over quickly. Uh, I'm going to have to tell them real quick. One second, guys. You might hear me typing. I can't see what's going on behind me. I have to get my stream schedule set up for for later. Well, now technically. Ah, no screen, bad screen. Push. And goodbye, Thanatos. Fofner in a deadly position. Fofner in a dead position. Scotty is going to take... Was that the enemy ADC? That was the enemy ADC. Neath. Bye-bye, Neath. Uh, there's a blink there from Kumakarna. There's Dodgy 3. Scotty says bye-bye, Dodgy. <laughs> Scotty's a monster, man. She actually doesn't hit the Odin too hard, but still pretty hard. And she is really wild chasing in that fountain, but it doesn't matter. She's going to pick up the Odin anyway. Okay. Is that the... Like, what? what? Did she just pick... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. We have seen some outstanding, outstanding ADC play for some of the ADCs in the league so far. Uh, Kitty had a great showing. Foxy's had a great showing. Scotty right here. We see, uh, is it Kano that's on it right now? Killing it. Um, who else? War Ace had a really good showing uh, at ADC. We've seen, so far, in my opinion, four, like, top, top tier ADCs. Uh, and seeing how they all play into each other is going to be the more interesting thing now. Because I think uh, we saw Kitty play into 
I believe both Foxy and uh, War Ace, and she ended up beating both of them, so maybe Kano gives her a run for her money. Well, I bought an extra 15 minutes and had my uh, other stream uh, pushed back. So I want to say a clean, uh, clear-cut message has been sent here, and that is uh, ban Scotty away from Kanye. Like, holy moly, this man is destroy -olies. A lot of jumping. Uh, I think that was the... Uh, just kidding. There's, I don't know why I saw a uh, Osiris jump, but it was the Fafner. Ooh, good shot there from Neath. Good spirit ball from Isis. They're all at about half health, so it's not like they're going to be doing too much. And Daji might make Scotty regret it. Scotty does a lot of damage though, but it's not enough. And Daji's gonna pick her up. Ooh. Thanatos is gonna alt into the back line. He picks up uh, Isis. And now Red Team's gonna try to turn this fight. Anubis just barely over 5k damage. That is rough for him right now. I do not think Anubis was the pick for you, Punisher. Um. It is Punisher that's on Anubis, right? Uh, it is, yes. Yeah, what was I saying about this Odin cage? Uh, yeah, that thing has been cool. Well, yeah, I guess it's been clutch. Because they've let it be clutch, though. Ooh, Fafner. Thanatos is going to try to split push here. I definitely don't think I agree with that one. But who knows? I'm no expert. So this puts a lot for uh, red team and blue team to figure out. Right now the game's pretty heavily favored for blue team and gold. In kills, it's actually slightly favoring red team. Uh, in towers, it's favoring blue team. Uh, so that's a big yikes. And then in levels, uh, if you exclude Anubis, um, blue team's winning. If you exclude Anubis, you include Anubis. That's a big like, what the fuck. Just waiting on this to clear out. What do we got? We got him uh, going on. Is Pyro even down? I think Pyro's down. I don't know if any objectives are down, to be honest. So I guess this is the right call. There's really nothing on the field to be fighting for. And with the feeling right now that uh, a fight could kind of go either way, it's good not to throw your life away for nothing. So, I guess that's a plus for them. Looks like blue team's gonna go over here on fire giant as soon as it comes in.
Here comes some possible pressure. They're gonna blink in. There's the Kumba ult. Fafnir ult as well. A lot of pressure coming in. No serious kills, just slight picks. Blue team is gonna get a serious kill right here though as they try to steal Fire Giant now. Red team kinda at their mercy. Do you think Kuma just retreating back? They're not even gonna contest this. Fafnir is calling for Pyro, but the rest of the team is on their own agenda. Could this be the end of the game? We see blue team trying to siege this right Phoenix now. I think there's a lot of alts up. Why can't? Okay, this is this is. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do that. Uh, oh, I just can't get a good camera angle. Okay, there we go. Right Phoenix is down for blue team. Scotty uh, making some plays here. Toxicity is gonna pick up. Uh, I believe that was uh, the worst player. Again, the Odin Cage. Uh, I feel like they just, uh, they, they let this happen. I don't want to say they like, let this happen, but they let that Odin Cage be such a big part of the game. I don't think there's two phantoms for blue team and either they've been popped at the same time or they're not being popped, I don't know. Anubis is gonna solo gold, but I don't know if that's the play. Scotty uh, making some big damage here. You know, picking up her kills and act jokingly making a big contribution as well. Like I said, it was going to come down to those two, and it looks like they're going to try to end the game right now. Nice on the run. She's trying not to get... And she dies. She, she's not even trying anymore. She's just dead. And blue team's going to end right here. Yeah, they are. And that's going to be game two of the, believe it or not... Believe it or not, this was a 5.30 showcase. It's now 7.37 right when it ended, so that puts us at about two hours it took to get two games down. Um, I will be back up in not even 10 minutes, probably less than 10 minutes. I got a Klee G Rocket League stream coming up. We got Ice versus the Lords, last game of week, well, one of the last games of week seven, uh, one of the last games of the regular season. And it should have some type of playoff seeding uh, implications uh, if Ice were to get the upset. So be sure to tune in then. If you guys like the content that we've done for Smite or for Rocket League or for any of our future projects such as uh, the 2K, Arc, uh, Modern Warfare in the future, uh, feel free to give us a follow, a like, a subscribe. Uh, you can find my Twitter in my Twitch. Uh, and enjoy the rest of your night, guys.